I wasn't here last week because we got some bad news. Yeah. Um, most of you know, Dan was cleared, declared cancer free at the end of January. And we got four glorious months of living with that. Um, when, once you're treated for cancer, they monitor you regularly. So every three months he was getting lab work and CT scans. And this time they found, uh, uh, five small lesions on his liver. Um, so it's the same kind of cancer. They did a biopsy. Um, the good news is the chemo he's on now is much more tolerable. It's a lot less intense. Um, the bad news is now it's pretty much considered chronic because it's moved to another organ. So, like, last time they were throwing the cure word around, this time, not so much. Yeah. Um, he's going to be in treatment for the rest of his life, uh, which we hope is a very long time. Uh, so, it's been kind of a crazy, crummy two weeks. Yeah. While we get him set back into chemo, and a lot is really unpredictable right now. But for the moment, he's feeling great. He had lab work today, and after his first chemo treatment, everything looks good. So, uh, you know, hopefully they can manage this and keep it from getting out of control. I mean, again, the and, good news um, is stuff caught stuff early. I mean, it's if there's any good news. Yeah. Here, yeah. yeah. You know. And they're researching pancreatic cancer a lot more than they used to be. So kind yeah. of the trick is to keep chugging until they make a breakthrough, yeah. which we are hoping for. It's already better than it was 20 years ago. Yeah. Um, but we're pretty pissed off because we thought he was all good. Yeah. And not we're not pissed off at anybody. Like right. none of his doctors. Just in general. <laughs> none of his doctors did anything wrong. You know, like as far as they could tell, they got everything. But like one nice. cell is all it takes. So we're not angry at anybody. The do his doctors are incredible. They didn't do anything wrong. We're just mad at cancer. Because it's an nine hole. Yeah. <laughs> well. So, but uh, anything like, if you're the praying type, please say a prayer for Dan. If you're the magic type, please throw some spell work his way. Like whatever, whatever your connection to the universe is. Yeah, no, no fairies. Do me a favor. Don't make any deals with the fae. Yeah, we don't want that <laughs> for anybody. I don't, be, I don't want to be replaced by a changeling or something. <sighs> They're a little late for that, Dan. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they have like a, like, like a 50-year-old baby waiting to swap out with you. I think that Tara would, would notice. Yeah, yeah exactly. it would be. <laughs> Hi. What a co-host. What, what, what a co-host's backup on the show that would be. Yeah. Just a big old voldemort looking thing <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right let's get, let's get the intro going okay because this week we have as always we have special ridiculous bullshit each week Catherine, radio dead air audience go out on the worldwide interwebs find all sorts of horrible shit bring it back here for a little segment we like to call what the fuck is wrong with you now we all know the gas has been a little more expensive lately. Um, yeah. And that's concerning. Uh, this guy makes it even more concerning. And I, I I'm a little, I, I'm a, I'm, I'm a little mad at this guy. It's like, what the fuck, man? What you, you f what? I don't even understand. I don't understand what the point was here. If there even was one, come on, move, move your ass. There you go. Get over here. There you go. Pumping gas, but not in tank, got pickup truck driver with Texas temporary tag in trouble. This fucking guy. Um, a Delray police officer wrote that late on the evening of April 26th, 27th, I arrived at the area of uh, blah, 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 in efforts to a suspicious vehicle pumping gas into the bed of the vehicle. Served a male inside the white Chevy Silverado pickup truck bearing Texas temp tag, pumping at pump number three, and then exiting the plaza and heading eastbound. Created the tag on our dispatch, indicated the tag was registered to a Nissan Sentra, not a Chevy. Um, Are those things watertight? 
Not normally, no. Um, not knowing just leaking gas everywhere. I I don't. Un I gave verbal instruction to the driver, who was identified as, and this I I hope. I had to double check this story several times to make sure this wasn't a joke, because um, the uh, the guy involved speaks Spanish, and this is his name, and the J sounds like an H in Spanish. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yasmani Gonzalez Morhan. You gotta hope that's Morehan. Morehan, yeah, because otherwise. Well, maybe Moron Moron applies. Because he's had a tough life. Yeah. Um. Exit the vehicle. Walk back toward me. Place his hands up. So, this motherfucker stolen tags on his truck, which is that's something you don't want to call attention to because you're kind of fills the truck bed with gasoline. Now, if he had some sort of liner in there, fuck, who knows? He might have had a kiddie pool back there. Apparently, he had a tank. So the truck, the truck had a soft black cover concealing the contents of the bed, and there was a large metallic gas tank with a gas pump nozzle located inside the bed of the truck. So, so what he was doing was he was stealing gas. Yeah. In just the most moronic way possible. I keep using that word, but it just kind of applies here. It, don't like you're allowed to pump gas into a can. Yeah, I mean, keep in mind. But you have to pay for it either way. Well, yeah, but if he had been pumping it into a can and the cop looked over, the cop would have been like, eh, it's no big deal. Wouldn't have had yeah. the need to run the tags. Would but no, he had to be like creative, like like Gizmonics Industries kind of bullshit. Plugged in the back of the fucking truck. And the cops looking over like, what the fuck is he doing? At first I was thinking, like, have you been watching The Man Who Fell to Earth? Yes. I love that show. It's so good. This is like she would tell Elijah for I'm sorry, Edgy for his first day on Earth, and they told him, put gas in the truck. Okay. Fuck money, money now! <laughs> I died. I love that show. You should watch it if you're watching this. Show. All right, it's a pretty good show. Okay, next up, this is a. <sighs> Apparently, people are getting the message: don't bring your guns through the metal detectors at the airport. They're pro they're getting the message. <laughs> Not certain members of Congress, but um, um, but there some the guns. Sure, they've stopped bringing the guns, but not the ammunition. Woman attempts to go through JK, JFK Airport with nine boxes of ammunition. They don't play at the New York airports, man. Transportation security. I don't know. I don't. Know. I don't know. I live in another major city now, and it's very different. New York airports, to this day, still, 20 years after 9-11, still have dudes in full fatigues with long guns in the airport. We call that trauma. New York airports do not fucking play. Transportation Security Administration said in a press release that a woman was stopped by their officers at JFK Airport for trying to carry four hundred bullets onto her flight. The bullets were a variety of ammunition for shotguns and handguns, including 12 gauge, 308, 233, and 9 millimeter. PSA officers confiscated the ammunition from the woman and gave her a citation. The woman uh, told officers the ammunition... Citation. Yeah, the, the woman told officers the ammunition belongs to her son, and she accidentally grabbed the wrong bag. PSA said the badge she grab, grab was slightly heavy and the ammunition took up a lot of space in her bag accidentally. Now, look, we're at the point where if you've got like lithium ion batteries in your carry on, they're looking at you sideways. Yeah. And you're bringing fucking shotgun shells. 
gosh, this is little Billy's bag. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're... I, I respect people who can pack light. I am not one of them. Yeah. But I don't know that anybody can pack light enough to not notice that the bag they're packing their stuff in contains 400 rounds of ammunition. It's not like the video games where ammunition doesn't weigh anything. It weighs a lot. Weighs a lot. Yeah. 400 rounds. We had, we had to transport some when we moved and get rid of some, and that shit's heavy. 400 rounds? Um, gun or no gun? That's a bomb. Yeah. You, you might not have a firearm with you, but you, you effectively, you have a, you have a bomb. I just can't get past that excuse. Oh, it's my, it's my kid's bag. My son had the... I just grabbed the wrong bag. Even if you have identical bags, like... I, carry, I travel with a lot of fucking makeup and toiletries. It's very heavy. We have had to shift one of my two makeup bags from one bag to another to make it make the weight limit. And it has worked. Still probably less than 400 rounds of ammo. Thinking. We got one from Florida. This is of course, of course, this came from fucking Florida. Um, have you ever met someone who ins thinks they've come up with a fantastic idea when in fact it's a really terrible idea? They just don't understand that everybody before them already knew it was a terrible idea. This next one is uh, uh, someone who thought he found the solution. That everyone overlooked. He he found the loophole, folks. He thought he could solve everything. He did not. Finnell's man arrested for calling 911 to say Biden needs to be in jail. <laughs> Finnell's county man who called 911 to say Joe Biden needs to be placed in jail was arrested himself. Jacob Philbeck, 29, of Palm Harbor, was arrested last Sunday for calling 911 dispatcher several times to say El Chapo needs to be freed from prison. It's a typo. Yeah, El Chapo needs to be freed from prison, and President Biden needs to be placed into prison. What? He just wants to trade him out. Oh, just to just trade him out, like Pokemon. Yeah. Dispatchers told Philbeck his comics were not emergency related and we asked not to call 911 unless it was emergency. See, that's the thing. He's, he's not getting arrested for what he said. He's getting arrested for fucking yeah. wasting time. But in his mind, he's like, they, they, you know, he's thinking the Illuminati, the deep state has come for him because yeah. he, was, he was thinking criminal thoughts or some shit. Because they can't handle the truth. Shortly after, Philbeck called 911 again and talked with a call taker the exact same issue. Debbie's then dispatched to Philbeck's home with Paul Harmer because, you know, when you call 911, they can trace that. That's how 911 works. They're... That's, that's how they find you. Yeah, that's why he, why he asked the man why he called the emergency line for a non-emergency. Philbeck told deputies, El Chapo needs to be freed. And President Biden needs to be placed in prison. Bill Beck was arrested for misuse of 911 to report a non-emergency and non-criminal matter. See, I, I, I know he, you know, he was sitting around drinking beer, probably Bud Light. You know, he was sitting around thinking, wait a second. Hang on. The police put people in jail. He needs to be in jail. Honey, where's the phone? And by the way, did El Chapo really do anything wrong? Yeah, I mean, El Chapo, I mean, he's, he's a little bit of some drugs. A little bit of some you know, drugs. I don't know if you had these drugs. movies in health class about don't do drugs and this, that, the other. And every, I remember this for some reason, every single don't do drugs educational film had a section about how when you're on drugs, you will think you have brilliant ideas. But once you're sober, you'll realize they're stupid ideas. 
I don't know why they all had to focus on that. Like, that's the worst thing that could happen to you. <laughs> I think 10 years of this show has shown us that's not the case. No. But they always honed in on, like, you'll think you've reached some creative pinnacle and you've had some great idea, but write it down and you'll find out you just wrote down the word cheese. <laughs> that's, that's what happened here, I think. <laughs> it's math. It's math. It's always fucking math. It's fucking math. Fucking math. Every fucking, fucking math. Uh, they're telling you it's actually pbr not bud light pbr not bud light what that's definitely a pbr did you guy. know hmm. did you know that pbr is like the official beer of goths yes what i only learned this because of him because we go to goth things now oh it's because goth? they hate themselves i got it <laughs> Maybe. there you goths go are super into pbr yeah it's a whole thing. Like that, some places we've gone, that's the only beer they have. And it's terrible. I, dr I, I am not ashamed to say I, I stick with Blue Moon because that actually doesn't taste terrible. You, you can I like call, Blue Moon. You, you can be like, you know, that's it. fuck you. It tastes decent. Shut up. It's beer. All right. Apparently, I've mentioned this before. Guys, I've been doing this a long ass time. There's going to be reruns sometimes. I'm sorry about it. <laughs> I'm getting old. The memory's going. It's going to happen. Uh, all right. Next time. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is from Ohio, which surprised me. But maybe it shouldn't, considering how, how they're going with their state these days. Um, crime is not a zero-sum game. I think a lot of people, we're in the whataboutism age, who thinks that, yes, I did this, but they did that. And that, that, that like balances, you know, they did worse, so I'm okay. Um, so, Hillard PD, man calls police when truck he stole five days earlier is stolen again. Oh, honey. A man who reported his truck stolen in Hilliard uh, on Monday was arrested after authorities learned he stole the truck five days earlier in Delaware County. Hilliard said 36-year-old Brett Red of Columbus reported his truck was stolen uh, by his passenger for, from a UDF gas station on Cemetery Road. Police were able to catch up to the truck. The suspect, identified as David Harrison, ran from the vehicle, was arrested nearby. Police later learned that the truck was originally stolen by Red on May 4th. According to a dense incident report, Delaware County Sheriff's Office, the vehicle was taken from a landscaping company in Powell. Both men have been charged with receiving stolen property. It's not like the last guy who does it is the only one in trouble. I know they say possession is nine tenths of the law. <laughs> but that's just an expression, dude. Like, that, it, it doesn't, like... If you lick it, it's not really yours. <laughs> There's paperwork and shit. Even with a spouse. I licked him. Doesn't mean he's mine. We had to do the paperwork. <laughs> I stole that truck fair and square and he stole it back from me. Yeah, what, what, did, the th what did the police think he was good? they were going to do? Be like, okay, well, you called. It's your truck. So you have a... They're going to run the plates and shit, you dumb fuck. Yeah. No, yeah. you don't have to do that, officer. I appreciate it. I don't want you to go through any extra trouble there or anything. You might work for it. <laughs> Not now we can. Uh, it's hand me stolen. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like upcycling. <laughs> it's like eco-friendly. Because it's like re-stolen. <laughs> you're both. You're, you're okay. I'm surprised they didn't say that Breadhead was Red was caught red-handed. Well, he wasn't caught red-handed because someone else stole it from him. Yeah. I mean, the good news is your friend is also going to jail. Yeah. Everybody. But you're going to be right next to him. Yeah. You're both. It's it's not like he, he the sisterhood of the stolen Chevy. <laughs> <laughs> Grand Theft Theft Auto. 
I mean, you, 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 just because you were the he was you weren't the last one. It's not like musical chairs, okay? It's not like the last thief standing. Like what the fuck? Oh well, speaking of that's just sad. Speaking of ridiculous shit with cars, this is. I don't know how you thought this was okay. Look, when all right. When I moved uh, from Illinois, I was concerned about putting my truck on one of those trailer hitch things. I'd like that seems wild because effectively I would have you know the U-Haul. And then my, I'd be like as long as a fucking 18 wheeler and shit. I, I was like, eh. so I got a friend to drive it for me. And yes, it put miles on the truck, but I felt safer that way. So I get this story. But like I said, I had a better, you know, you get someone else to drive the car. You don't do this. This is, this is not the solution. And the picture is kind of amazing. Um, oh, sorry. there you go. Back it up. Washington State Trooper pulls over driver who crammed SUV in the back of a U-Haul. If you want to see the police scroll down, I'll show you the picture. That's fucking insane. What the oh <laughs> my god. Washington State Trooper made an unusual traffic stop this week. Trooper John Bryant shared photos on Twitter of a U-Haul <laughs> with an SUV crammed into the back of a small U-Haul truck using a packing strap. Look, look, look how he held it. Look her ducking on wheels. <laughs> <laughs> Photos taken Monday uh, by an Okanagan Trooper Cunningham on uh, State Route 97. According to the Bellingham Herald, the driver did not have a valid license and the U-Haul, U-Haul was, quote, long overdue. See, this is, again, drawing attention to yourself. Because that's not what you, that's not how that, I'm amazed the U-Haul didn't just go, hurt. else in there? What? No. So, there can't possibly be anything else in that U-Haul. No. Well, maybe, but probably So then not. what is the point of doing this? You know how earlier you were talking about people who do drugs and think they have the best idea ever? Yeah. There you go. I mean, if the car doesn't run and you can't afford to tow it, maybe? I, I, I... How did he get it in there? Yeah. Because if there was some sort of ramp... Well, no, okay, I guess he probably put ramps over on the back bumper and whatnot and then just pulled them away. Yeah. But... But, like, you're not saving any money on the gas. If that was your thought, I don't want to drive this car all this way because I'll burn up a bunch of gas. You know what's going to burn more gas? <laughs> Driving the weight of two. What? what was the plan? I don't know. But also, it was a stolen U Haul. They were all, no, no, I'm looking at the side. I'm looking at it from the side. They might have gotten some more stuff in there. Not a lot of stuff. But uh, they they might have gotten some stuff in there. Some boxes, it would even out the weight. I'm just realizing that whoever drove it in there had to crawl out the back. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, it had to be a hatchback. Wouldn't work any other way. Yeah. Fucking idiot. Can you even imagine driving past that on the highway? Like, like have you ever just driven past some weird shit on the highway? Like, we drove past a guy riding a motorcycle with a fucking fake skeleton with its arms wrapped around his waist like it was his girlfriend. Why? And, like, you forget that you're driving for a minute. (laughs) Because you're busy looking at the thing. (laughs) Yeah. So, like, how many accidents did this cause? Oh, people were whipping out their phones. Yeah. Where the <laughs> fuck is TikTok? God <laughs> damn it. Um. Yeah, just the fuck. Yeah, you have a stolen car. You have no license. Let's just call complete attention to the stolen car. 
while you're driving with no license. Pickle of ourselves. I, I just really want to see the dash cam. Sir, do you know why I pulled you over? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is I speeding? Okay. No, that's not it. <laughs> it's very rarely that we can don't know end. how you could be. It, it's very rarely in the show that we can end with a with a feel good story. But this is without a doubt. You're, you're going to be so happy. Everyone watching this, you're going to be so happy when you see this picture that I'm about to put on the screen. Okay. And I, I feel while I am a I'm a big Johnny Cash fan. I feel he would approve of this. I feel he would be he would love this just as much as I do. Johnny Cash water mural on water tower leaking from curious spot after being shot. <laughs> water tower in Arkansas is going viral after someone shot it. But it's where the shot landed that has people talking. Water tower in Kingsland. Small town of 400, about an hour south of Little Rock, features a mural of country music legend Johnny Cash. And that is what the sharpshooter was likely aiming at. Uh, the shot, as seen in the video, uh, hit Johnny Cash mural in the groin area, causing water to spurt out. The tower was shot May 11th and is still leaking. <laughs> when you gotta go. I got shot in the dick today. <laughs> That is that is just <laughs> for Johnny. It's a, the picture is beautiful. The picture is pretty amazing. I love that fucking picture. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. <laughs> <laughs> Like they couldn't get somebody up there with some duct tape. Why is it still leaking? <laughs> get some flex tape up up there. Exactly. That yeah. guy in the commercial all the time. Wham! Johnny From Cash South. still taking a leak. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> that should be the new ad for that stuff. Except, I guess you'd have to punch Johnny Cash in the dick, and nobody probably wants to do that. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> a weird sequel to Walk the Line. I it's, I, I can't be. I I just look at that photo and I can't be angry about anything. It's, it's so <laughs> perfect. Someone got their gun out. Someone got a long gun with a scope, not with the like, intention. That's a good shot. Not with the intention of hurting anybody. Not with the intention of causing mayhem. No, no. They just wanted. It was a joke. They could you just, make that shot? With a with a scope, yeah. That is absolutely some like I I missed where where it is. But His hometown, is, Arkansas. That is absolutely some redneck who got, had an idea and was just like, you know what? I'm gonna try it. You know how when you're high, you think you have great ideas. <laughs> this was a great idea, though. It really this was. Is you just amazing. made the word cheese. And shot Johnny Cash in the dick. <laughs> but I'm with you. I think Johnny Cash would have totally approved of that. <laughs> he probably should do a music video under it. Would. I don't know if June would approve, but you know. Uh, <laughs> I, just, I love it. It made me so happy to see that. <laughs> I'm a man of simple taste. What can I say? So I guess the, the first thing we learned this week is uh, someone will just decide to spread joy in the weirdest possible ways sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> What's so funny? Jenny Cash got shot in the dick. What? <laughs> um, Can't you let the man rest in peace? We've learned that... Uh, when you're doing the crimes, many crimes at once, you should not do them in such a way that the police notice you. You got it yeah, with your crime. You got just stealth. Um, we've learned just because something stole, stole, stole something you stole from you, you're still in trouble for the first stealing. 
it's it's it doesn't get it's not like it negates itself this isn't like an equation this isn't math this is you fucking stole a truck we learned that uh <laughs> if you're on drugs and you think you have a great idea like calling 911 to get the president arrested it's probably not We've learned. Has anybody tried it before him? Probably what he was thinking. Did nobody think to yeah. do this? I mean, <laughs> why don't we just report him, man? <laughs> we've learned that. I just want to know what he thought was going to happen. Like, oh, okay, sir, we'll be right on that. <laughs> we've learned that just in case you, just if you, even if you leave the gun at home, the bullets still count. You're still, good. and we finally we've learned again. You are in the if you are in the midst of the crime, doing the crimes on a crime event, do not get the cops' attention. Be cons inconspicuous. Fly casual. Normal people do not just start pumping gas into the bed of the truck. That kind of gets people's attention. I want to look at the Johnny Cat shot again. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. No words. Should have sent a poet. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, uh, all right. You, you need you need just a video of that with his cover of Hurt playing <laughs> under it on a loop. <laughs> <laughs> 